everyone. I'm Dr. Wyman, and I am the Business Administration faculty here at Martin Community College, and I oversee the accounting program and the entrepreneurship program. So welcome to STEM Camp for this year. Um, today, we're going to talk about SMART goals. So I'm going to share my PowerPoint with you about SMART goals. So just a moment, let me get my PowerPoint up here. And what we're gonna do is talk about how you can go ahead and use SMART goals right now. Um, SMART goals are wonderful. Uh, they really give you some focus. And what I want to do is make sure that you know how to use them and that you can start using them right away. So I titled this SMART Goals for Life because you can start using them now and you can use them for the rest of your life. So what exactly are SMART Goals? SMART Goals are specific, they're measurable, they're attainable, they're relevant, and they're time bound. This was started in around 1981. And what um, experts in the business field were finding were that goals weren't specific enough. They were just like, okay, I wanna do X, Y, Z, but there was no way of getting there. So somebody, the, somebody these people, um, Doran, Miller, and Cunningham came up with this idea and it's been around for a long time now. So specific, when you're setting a goal, if you want it to be specific, you ask yourself, what do I want to do or what do I want to achieve? So you start at the end. It's like, what is it that I want to do? So general statements such as, I want to save money or I want to earn a college degree, they're not specific enough. These statements are an overview and a result of your goal. By themselves, these are not goals. Measurable, ask yourself, how will I know when I have met my goal? It may sound like it's intuitive or self-evident, you know, you'll know there, you'll know it when you get there. But it is relative to the first question of what I want to do or what do I want to achieve. Using the previous example, you have to determine what amount of money and how you are going to get the money to save or what level of college degree you want to earn. Is it attainable? So ask yourself. Is what I want to do or achieve within my power to do so? So you have to be realistic. Um, can you actually do what you need to do to attain that goal? For example, if you want to save a million dollars, you know, is that likely to happen in your lifetime with the type of job that you want to do? I don't know. You can only you can answer that. Um, or the degree that you want to earn. Do you want to become a doctor of medicine? Ask yourself, what resources do I have? Um, what can, how can I make it happen? So resources are things like money, support, self-determination, time management, your own abilities. Do you have the ability to become a medical doctor? Or do you have the ability to become a big business person where you can save a million dollars? So you have to be realistic with yourself. Um, are the goals that you're setting, are they relevant? Is what you're trying to achieve relevant to your plan of what you want to do for your life or your work? So if the result of your overall goal is to save money or to earn a college degree, then it really wouldn't be relevant to plan a trip to Europe, right? Planning a trip to Europe would be a completely different overall goal that should go through the same SMART goal process. And is it time bound? Ask yourself, how much time do I think I will need to achieve my goal? Be realistic. If you want to save a million dollars or the degree you want to earn is a doctor of medicine, ask yourself, how much time do I realistically think it will take me to do that? And am I willing to put in that time? So maybe you want to adjust your goals. Maybe you want to save you know, $50,000 instead of a million or you want to become a doctor of organizational leadership, which is what I am, or you want to um, maybe just become a nurse instead of a doctor. So 
Think about that, be realistic. So here's a poor example of a SMART goal, which we showed on slide one. I want to save money or I want to earn a college degree. Those are poor examples of SMART goals because they're not specific. You don't know how much you want to save. You don't know where you're getting the money. You don't know how long you're going to be saving, nothing. So we're going to go on to turning the result of an overall goal into a SMART goal. Example one, poor SMART goal is I want to save money. A good SMART goal is I will save $50 a week from my weekly paycheck beginning May 1, 2020 for a period of two years to have a total savings of $5,200 dollars by May 1, 2022. This is a SMART goal. It tells whoever's reading it and you included it, uh, that you how much you're going to save, how often you're going to save it, where you're getting the money from to save, how long you're going to save it, and what your result will be, and the date that you're going to have that result. So that is a SMART goal. SMART goals have unlimited use. One of the most wonderful things about SMART goals is that you can use them right now and continue using them for the rest of your life. It will help you determine what is important in your life and what you are willing to spend time, effort, and money on to achieve a result. They help you prioritize needs, wants, and desires by indicating the wise use of resources and highlighting what you value most by the very goals you choose to pursue. SMART goals can be used for STEM goals too, to use them for scientific, technological, engineering, and mathematical research and projects start at the end. What do you want to achieve, accomplish, or find out? Then set up your SMART goals to meet your overarching end goals. Now it's your turn. Take out a piece of paper, Turn the second poor example into a SMART goal. Remember, it must be specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time bound. So the overall goal, I want to earn a college degree. How are you going to turn that into a SMART goal for yourself? I hope that you um, begin using SMART goals right away and you can use them for the rest of your life. And I hope that when you get to a point in your educational career that you will come to Martin Community College. And I hope to see you in some of my courses. Take care and enjoy the rest of your summer.